Let's go. You're going to be over here. I'm going to be over here. So we're getting ready for this workout. It's at-home workout. I don't know. It's pretty warm out here. Pretty hot out. I told him we're going to train for the invasion. So this is how he showed up for the workout. He's got all his riot gear on. Very normal kid. Can't imagine where he gets it from. We also have our ritual. We need our zombie here for our workouts because we are training for the invasion. So that zombie is always here for our training sessions. And of course our Herbalife hydration. So we're going to get loosened up. Give you a chance to get in here and join us if you want. Going to get warmed up a little bit. It's going to shake. He's leading the warm-up ready. He already knows the warm-ups. We're going to stretch our quads out. Alternate quad stretches. Just getting things started. You don't need much equipment. If you have some dumbbells or a BOSU ball, medicine ball, even if you don't have them, you'll still be able to do it. pretty much everything we do. Shake your shoulders out. Loosen them up. We're going to use some bands, some monster bands, some bands anchored to the poles. Get a quick stretch of your shoulder. Stretch it. Fling it open. Stretch the other side. Fling it, stretch it. So you can follow right along with us, switching exactly the same time we switch, or you can write this stuff down and do it at your own pace because we're going to be doing this for reps. So my amount of reps might be a different pace than your amount of reps or might be different pace than his amount of reps. So I'll show you on the warm-up exactly how it's going to go. Here, you're grabbing these. So you're going to start, like say we're going to start with a chest press. So this is going to show you exactly how the pattern and the template is going to go for all the workouts. We're going to start with a chest press. Simple. We're even on the camera, I don't even know. So I'm going to start with one chest press. It's like a joke. One chest press, just to show you how this goes, plus this is our warm-up. Not going to let over bands, flip right around for one row. We're going to flip right back around. One chest fly. Flip right back around for one pullover. One bicep curl, one tricep kickback. So we just did one of each, right? So we're going to repeat all those straight through. There's no break for two of each. So now two chest press. One, two. We're going to flip around. Two rows. Bam, bam. We're not even letting go. Just keep flipping. Two flies. And then the last three are all facing the same direction. So that makes it easier. Straight on pullovers for two. Biceps for two. Triceps, two. So this is the way it's going to go. And we're going to go to three of each, right? That's how all the rounds are going to go. You're going to start with one rep of each of a long chain. Go to two reps of each. Now we're up to three reps of each. Three. Three on the rows. Just getting moving. Just getting warmed up. Just letting you learn the pace. Flies for three. Bam. Flip right back around. Pullovers. Straight arm pullovers. Head is up. Chest is out. Don't let go of the band. Just keep flipping. Just keep flipping. And actually pullovers went right into biceps for three. Triceps for three he's following right along with his bands kicking ass so what comes up next after three four no shit no kidding don't say that don't say that kid let's go four chest press two three four simple lean back pinch shoulder blades together four rows so you basically have a chain of exercises doing one rep of each two rep of each three of each four of each Five each. We're going up to six on most of these. Some of them might go less than six. Some of them might go more than six. Biceps four. Bent over. Tricep four. What's next? What's next, boy? Five. Five. Five on the chest press. Let's go. Elbows up and out. 90 degrees. Stick your chest out. Both knees slightly bent. Stagger stance. Flip right around for the row. Pay attention, boy. Pay attention. Keep up. Keep up. Someone sent me a message when they saw I was doing this workout at home today. They know Tyson's going to join me because he's always going to join me for the workout. They said, you're really going to make your kid work out with you? It's such a nice Saturday. You're going to make your kid really be stuck at home in the cave working out with you? Like, what kind of dumbass, what kind of dumbass question is that? What could be better than sitting here outside in our riot gear with our zombies doing a workout with this little freak show? What else should I be doing? Sitting on the couch, watching some stupid movie. We missed our triceps. We missed our triceps, triceps, triceps. Because I'm sitting here babbling about stupid comments from Facebook. From people. Let's go. Sixes, sixes, sixes coming up. So this is just a warm-up. And just to let you get the template down of how all these rounds are going to go.
All right, we're back on live. I don't know how that connection, we have a perfect connection, perfect wireless connection, and it cut out. All right, so we just finished the warm up with the anchor bands anchored to the pole. So we're gonna go a couple of secondary warm up rounds. Oh, you want the thicker one? You want the thicker one? You want the harder one? No. No? We're gonna go with one of these monster bands. It's gonna be a quick, short round. This one we're just gonna go to fours just because we're continuing the warm up right here. Just hold it in squat position. And you're just going for shoulder press. One shoulder press, one squat. Two shoulder presses, two squats. Because now we want to get the legs going a little bit and the arms. One, two, three on the shoulder press. One, two, sit back on the hips and heels on the squat. And just four for the press. It's just a quick additional round to get shoulders warmed up a little more, hips, legs, glutes warmed up a little more. But you get the idea. So it was only two exercises, and we only went to four. Now you're going to hold it right here long ways in a deadlift position. Continue getting legs loosened up a little more and the back. So we're gonna go deadlift for one, row for one, deadlift for one, two, row for one, two, deadlift for three, two, bam, and row for three. Just warming up, just getting started. And we're just also going to four on this one. So easy, quick warm up round. What's after four? Five. That would be right, but I said we're only doing four, so nothing's after four. <laughs> Move your riot gear out of the way. He's got his riot gear here to work out. What a psycho, what a psycho. He's got a chest guard. He's got his swords, his wrist guards, his shield. I told him we're going to train for the invasion. This is how he came out for his workout. <laughs> All right, so next one's gonna be a dumbbell. Shake those arms out, shake them out. We're just warmed up, we're just getting started. Time to stop bullshitting. Give you plenty of time to get your shit together and get rolling. Let's see. We need some dumbbells. Get you get your dumbbells right there. I'm gonna use these. So get your dumbbells. You need a pair of dumbbells. Don't have to be heavy. This is a total body workout. It's a long circuit. We're going up to four to six reps of each of a long chain of exercises. So pay attention. By the way, there's a new camo shirt, the digital camo shirts we have at the gym. You can get them. Tons of people have been winning them. You can buy them. We've got digital camo, woodland camo, and then the pink camo. All right, we ready to roll? Yeah. So pick up your dumbbells. You're going to go with a de deadlift first. One deadlift. One. Technically, this is one. One row. One curl. One squat. One press. So now two deadlifts. One. On the second one, you're going to stay down there because that's two. Now two rows. Second row is going to go right into the first curl. One, two, right into the first squat for two squats. Right into the freaking press for two. Bam. Bam. What's next, boy? After two. Three. Three. Going deadlift for three. Drive your hips. Two. That was three. Three rows. Two. Three. Three curls. One. Bam, squeeze your arms, squeeze your arms. Elbows stuck to your side, stand up straight. Abs are tight. Hold it on that third one for your three squats. So your last piece of one movement, this third one, is gonna flow right to the first press. One, two, three. Going four, four of each, four deadlifts, come on. Lean over the waist, dry the hips, one. Bam, stand up tall, abs are tight, strong glutes. You're staying down that last one because it's gonna transition to the first of the next movement. Right to the curls for four. Shit is hard, right? Don't say that word, boy. <laughs> four, four squats, come on. Suck it up. Two, three, four, right to the press for four. This is where it starts working. The first four is just practice. Now we can do five and six. We're going to six, boy, come on. Oh, man. What, you have a problem with that? No, no. You tired? You getting lazy? No. I will beat your butt. Here comes, that's five rows for one, two, Three, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Curls, five, come on. Suck it up. Quit your whining. I know you, are you whining down there? Huh? No! Are you tired? No! Kid is quite normal, huh? Two, going to squat, five squats. Down the hips and heels, squeeze your glutes. Right to five, press. Back straight, don't hurt your back. One more, right? Six. This is it. Sixes. Let's go. Suck it up. 
Drive the hips. Stand up tall. Hamstrings, glutes, lower back. Two, three, four. Pump it out. Don't be a little B-I-T-C-H. Six. That was six. Oh. You want to do seven? No. Did you say seven? No. Going to six on the rows. Six on the curls. We're almost there. Top of the mountain. Two three. Four. Oh. Five. Six. Six on the squat. This kid's using five pound dumbbells for this circuit. So next time I see some of you suckers in the gym grabbing a five pound dumbbell, I'm gonna play this video for you and show you a five year old kid using the same weight as you. That's ridiculous. Done. Put them down and shake it out. Hell yeah. Good round. Shake it out. Go get some water. Hydrate, hydrate. You need to hydrate. Especially out in this heat. I'm gonna unmike for a second just to take a layer off of this freaking awesome camo shirt. I'm trying to do this whole thing mic'd up, see how it goes. So, next round, we're gonna be using a Bosu ball. If you don't have a Bosu ball, you just do the body weight. Works just the same, just a little different on stability. You also don't have to go different depth to the ground. But we're using a Bosa. We're going to use a Bosa. I'm using a Bosa ball. He's going to do them on the ground. So you can follow either one of us. It's going to be the same exact template. We're going to have four exercises for this one. Or sorry, five exercises for this one. Same thing. Starting with one rep of each. Two reps of each. Three, four, five. Up to six of each. Sound hard? Are you tired already? Is it too hot out here for you? I asked you a question, boy, it requires an answer. No! Because what are you going to happen when the evasion happens and it's freaking hot as hell outside? You're going to adapt and overcome and destroy the freaking enemy like this zombie with an axe in his head. Woo! That's normal decorations around the cave. Axes and zombies, swords and shields, body armor, freaking... <laughs> and that too kid has got the right idea so we're going to be on bosu ball next or body weight all you have are five pound weights you can do five pound weights if you're doing light like five sat but you better do a different reps than this say you had five pound weights right i would alternate the arms say on the shoulder press part that we were just doing or whatever except you're not doing only one rep you're going to literally start instead of one with these little weights five or ten so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten would be for that your rows same thing bam bam that whole order we just did alternating with some speed still control with speed you're gonna get a little more of a cardio effect start 10 of each do 20 of each 30 of each 40 of each 50 of each 60 of each with those little little tiny dumbbells then you'll get a hell of a workout then you could get away with using that weight when you're doing sets like that you're talking about hundreds and hundreds of reps you take those six exercises or how many ever the hell we just did how many exercises is that we did deadlift, row, curl, squat, press. So five exercises. You do five of those, 10 reps of each as your low end. That's 10 times five. That's 50 right there. Then you do 20 of each, then 30 of each, 40 of each, 50 of each, 60 of each. If you have only light dumbbells for a round like that. This next round, I'm going to use a Bosu ball. He's going to use body weight. You could really do it with body weight. It doesn't matter. I'm doing it with a Bosu ball. So this is just going to be four exercises. It's going to be squat thrust, push up mountain climbers, and plank jack. If you don't know those, know those exercises, follow along. We'll show you what it is. Just checking out for any questions. Let's go. You're going to do body weight. So it's squat thrust. So one of each. So that means squat thrust. You need to stand up each time. This first one's chaining in. The enemy. We're being attacked. Attacked from the flank. Attack. Get your freaking sword. Get the sword. I'm so let's go. We're going to be on... There goes our paper. Go get the paper. Test. You're going to be on squat thrust first. So the first squat thrust, we don't need to stand up. Let's go, boy. Focus, focus. Squat thrust. So we're going to squat thrust down. That's our first one. So we don't need to stand up because that's one. We're going to stand at the end of it. One push up. Mount climbers. One of each counts as one. Plank jacks. One. Jump your feet apart together. Then jump in. Stands up. That finishes the first squat thrust, right? So now we're going to do two of each. 
Don't wipe your hands after everyone because it's going to get dirty again. That just doesn't make any damn sense. You're afraid of getting a little filthy out in the field, out in the trenches? This is war, kid. This is war, kid. Deal with it. Suck it up. Are you ready? Yeah. Two of each. So two squat thrusts. Down, out, in, and up. That's one. Bam. There's two. Right to our two push-ups. Oh. Our four mountain climbers, because we're on four, both feet back together. Our two plank jacks. Jump forward. Feet apart. Squat up. We're going three of each. Just getting rolling. Let's start picking the pace up. So three squat thrusts. We need to complete the squat thrusts. Except for that last one, we can stay down there because we're going to complete when we finish the round. Look at this kid doing squat thrusts on his freaking knuckles. Kid's a savage. Six mountain climbers. Three plank jacks. Two. Three. Jump in. Stand up. We're going to four. Straight through. You ready? You ready to roll? Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go. Come on. Three. Down. Out. Or sorry. Four. In and up. Squat. Jump your feet back with your abs tight. Jump in and squat up. Make sure you're sitting on your heels. Don't lean over the waist for that squat thrust. You need to squat down. Jump back. Hey, 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 hey. We're down here, boy. Four push-ups. One, two, three, four, eight mountain climbers. It's really four, but we're going per side. Four plank jacks. One, two, jump apart. Bouncing your step, landing your feet. Boom, jump forward, squat up. Five and six coming up. You ready? You ready? Yeah. Are you done? You're quitting? Boy, I asked you a question. No! Pissing them off. That's what I like to see, a little energy. Show me a little enthusiasm. Show me some freaking energy. What are we doing? So we're doing extra... Push-ups, we need squat thrusts, five of them, one. Let's go, down, out, in, up, two, down, out, in, up, three, squat down, jump back at half tight, jump into squat position, there's four, here comes the last one, five, we're gonna stay down there. Stay down there, boy! Five push-ups, come on, I did one already. I did one already, there's one. Come on, we need five, two, three, four, five. Get out of our camera! Get out of our camera! Yeah, get out of our camera! Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Plank jacks for five. One, two. Abs tight, hips down. Hands lined up directly under your shoulders. Suck it up. Bam. And we're up. We're going to sixes. Top of the mountain. Top of the mountain. Straight through. No break. Squat thrust for six. There's one. Squat up and come up. Here comes two. Bam. Bam. There's two. Down. Out. In. Up for three. Down. Out. In. Up for four. Here it is. Make sure your abs are tight when you jump those feet back. That's six. Right your push-ups. Boy, you better pay a freaking attention. Six push-ups. Chest to the floor. Chest to the floor. Go. One. Together. Come on. Two. Count it out, boy. Four. Five. Six. Twelve mountain climbers. Come on. Hips down. Wait. Evenly distribute on both of your feet. Jump and switch. Don't just do knee tucks. And six spine jacks. Come on. Two. Three, four, five, six, and jump in. Bam, and that's a round. Hell yeah, good round. Hydrate, boy, hydrate, boy. Uh. Go hydrate. Need to stay hydrated, especially out here in this freaking heat. This is perfect. Wish it was a little hotter, but this is good. This is good training weather. Either extreme heat or extreme cold. Best way to train. Expect the... Expect the best, but prepare for the worst. This kid's gonna have all these freaking psychotic sayings drilled into his brain by the time he's 10 years old. Right? So what's next? What we got next? Medicine ball is next. So this round's gonna have slams and jack presses, right? So if you have a medicine ball, you can slam it. If you don't have a medicine ball, you can find something with some weight and just don't slam it. So I don't give a shit if you have a gallon of milk. That's still eight pounds. You can use that shit and you'll get a great workout out of this. Especially the way it's gonna squish around and move around on you. So we're gonna be doing slams. I guess it's on this. Probably gonna break that. So whatever. I don't really care. So we're gonna do slams. If you don't, if you're gonna use your gallon of milk, obviously geniuses, don't freaking slam it on the floor because that shit's gonna break apart and bust over all over the freaking place. And it better not, it better be some freaking 30 calorie almond milk too. Not some whole milk, or not even 2% milk, or not 1% milk, not even freaking skim milk. Cause they all have the same amount of sugar. They all have 12 grams of sugar in a cup. All it is, skim milk is just a big scam, still loaded in sugar. 12 grams of sugar is in skim milk, 12 grams of sugar 
isn't whole milk. It just has less fat. That's it. It's a bunch of bullshit. So you don't need all that sugar. You don't really need milk anyway because you're not eating much that you need milk. You're not having really cereal, right? Unless once in a while you're having like a half a cup of cereal because you earn that shit. You need the extra carbs because you're just training like a savage. Are you training like a savage? All right. So if you have your gallon of milk or something that you can't slam or you have some annoying ass neighbors below you that always bitch that you make too much noise, screw that. Slam that shit harder on them. F them. F them. Don't say that. You don't even know what it means, but don't say it. So if you had it, right, look, on the, instead of the slams, you're just going to do this. Look, a chop. If you can't slam whatever you're slamming, it's going to be almost as much work. That's fine. When we get to the twist slams, you'll just do a twist chop. Same thing. No problem. And then there's jump slams and kneeling slams. So we're going to start off with just one regular slam. So the one and the two, usually we're walking you through a little slower to get the technique down, get the exercise down. And then from there, hell, we're going to just freaking nail it and just attack that shit and just go straight through. So we're going to start straight slam. You ready? Pay attention. Yeah. Pay attention. Straight slam for one. Jack press up for one. Twist slam. One total. Jack press out for one. Jump slam for one. Ja front to back. Jack press up for one. Kneeling slam for one. Front to back. Jack press out for one. That was one of each. We're going to two of each. Come on. Hope you're paying attention. Get your shit together. There's no pausing. This shit is live. Let's go. Two slams. One. Two. Jack press up. One. Two. Twist slam. One. Two. Jack press out. Pick it up, boy. Quicker. Jack press out for two. Jump slam for two. Front to back. Jack press up. So feet are going front to back this time. Kneeling slam. Two. Bam. Front to back, jack press out. You got to move quicker than that, boy. Keep up, keep up. Front to back, jack press out for two. We're going to threes. Suck it up, suck it up. Come on, keep the pace. Three. We're going all the way up to six, sucker. One, two, three slams. Three, jack press up. One, two, three. Three, twist slam. Let's all see which side we start with just so things even out. One, two, three. Front jack press out for three. One, extend your arms, abs tight. Three. You want to do four? No. You cheating? You cheating? No. You better not cheat. I will beat your butt. Jump slam for three. One. Boom. Three. Yes. Front to back. Jack press up. One, two, three. Kneeling slam. Three. One, two, three. Front to back. Jack press out. For three. What's after three? What's after three? Four. We're going to four. Come on. Come on. Slams for four. We're going all the way up to six. We're not even halfway there yet. One. Two. Three. We're picking up the pace. You got to keep up. Four. Come on. Jack press up. One. Two. Three. Four. Twist slam. One. Two. Pivot. Head up. Chest out. Four. Yes. One. Two. Jack press out. Bam. Jump slam. Front to back, jack press up for four. One, two, three, four. Kneeling, boy. Follow me, follow me, just follow me. When I switch, you switch, okay? Four. Front to back, jack press out. That's feet, I'll go side to review. Feet go front to back. Ball goes front and back for four. We got fives, five and six, and we're done. You ready? You ready? Okay. You ready? You ready to kill this crap? Uh -huh. Boom, come on. Oh, Slams, five. Bam, we're gonna pick up the pace. Two, three, four, five. Jack, press up. One, two, three, four, high. Twist, slam. One, two, three, four, high. Front to back. Or sorry, Jack, press out. Bam, two, three, four, five. Jump, slam. One, two, three, four. High, front to back, up, one, two, hey, oh, high, kneeling, for five, bam, two, three, oh, screw those neighbors below you, screw those neighbors below you, slam the floor, front to back, out, one, two, four, one more, one more, come on, one more, let's go, you ready, let's do it, sixes, full speed, full speed, all out, one, two, three, 
Ho! Ho! Six! Jack, press up. One, two, three, four. This shit ain't supposed to be easy. It ain't supposed to be easy. Come on. Twist the line, twist the line. Just follow me. Switch when I switch. Three. Oh. Yeah. Five. Six. Back press out for six. One, two. I'm in the count. Two, three, four, five, six. Jump slam. Two. We're almost done. Oh. Ha. Six. Yes. Front to back. Up. One, two, three. Ass tight. Wait, Don't hold your back. Kneeling is right now. Oh. Oh. See, you're paying attention. Good job. Oh. Two, three, four, five, six. Front to back out. Get oh. your ball. Front to back out. Come on. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's the round. Hell yeah. Oh. Awesome round. Oh my God. Shake it out. Shake it out, hydrate, recover, catch your breath. That's how you do a round. No excuses, no bullshitting. Just attack it until you accomplish your freaking mission. The goal is to get to six. Shit starts getting hard at four. You know what? You adapt and overcome and figure that shit out and just make it happen. Do what you gotta do. You need to modify, you freaking modify it. You need to stop for a split second, you stop. But you don't stop and just sit down for like 15 minutes like a little bitch. You sit and you stop for a second, big deep breath, clear your freaking head, and get right back to the attacking. That's the way you do it. Adapt, overcome, figure it out, modify when you need to. Awesome round, boy. Good job. What do we have left? I don't even know what we have left. Oh, yeah. I know what we have left. So that's the whole circuit. But what we're about to do, and not to bore you on the camera, is now we're going back to the first group. We're not gonna do the band group again because that's just all the band groups. We're gonna go back to the dumbbells. We're going back to the BOSU ball and the medicine ball. So our three main rounds. But now, instead of one of each, two of each, three of each, four of each, five of each, six of each, we're gonna go repeat each group, work our way down so the set's gonna get easier and easier as we go. So we're gonna go six of each exercise, five, four, three, two, one. So you know the exercise already. So now you're gonna finish this off. We're gonna finish this off starting with six of each. Then five of each, four of each, three of each, two of each. We're gonna go dumbbells first. Anyone with us? Is anyone doing this? Are you people just watching this shit show for your entertainment? Any of you actually doing this? How long has this been so far? Anyone know how long this video has been? Can someone tell me how long it's been? And someone tell me if you're actually following along or you can do this later. If you're following along, we're gonna do the six to one with you. If you're gonna do it later, you can just count that on your own because you need to go on your own reps anyway. You don't want to switch with us anyway. You want to do it when you're done with your six. You know what I mean? You switch to exercise on your pace. So we're going to go six to one. Coming up. If you have any questions, put them in there in the bottom. So you know, starting this Monday, coming up, not tomorrow, or this, this Monday, Monday the 19th, we're starting two simultaneous 28-day body transformation challenges. One for the men, the 28-day shred, one for the women, the 28 day hot mommy makeover. You don't have to be a freaking mom to join the challenge. It's just what it is. But you can, it, it, it is a 28 day challenge, the best visual transformation of a man and a woman. We actually just added a link for members to join it. So now on the VIP page, if you remember, there's a link there for you guys to get in on it now because I know you guys want to win those prizes. The, grant, the prizes are going to be a, a professional photo shoot, a massage, and then either a sports supplement package or a salon makeover so there are tons of prizes awesome prizes for this challenge 28 days four freaking weeks high intensity boot camp classes boxing classes there are classes available seven days a week we added sundays in so here's some of the news here the six week challenge ends right before this four week transformation 28 day thing begins we only add those sunday classes just for the six week challenge but the good news is we're going to keep those sunday classes and I'll keep you updated on the additional classes that we're keeping from the six-week challenge. We're gonna be keeping most of them, I think, because it looks like we have a need for them. And any, any times we ever need to add additional classes or take some sessions away and swap it out for different times, we're gonna do it based on what you guys need, based on what we do, we set out polls to you guys, based on what you need for, to hit you, help you hit your goals. What we got going on here? 30 minutes? 
I can only do something in my office. I have to stop and answer the phone. Answer the phone. Just get a clip like this. Answer it right there while you're going. Huffing and puffing while you're answering the phone. That doesn't matter. What else? But even if you don't have equipment, you can see that even the medicine around. You have no equipment. Grab, a, grab your freaking uh, book and just do the chops. A big heavy book. Grab, grab your freaking Bible or something or whatever. Oh, maybe not. Whatever. Grab some kind of book. A big ass dictionary or an encyclopedia. Does that even exist anymore with the internet? So anyway, those challenges coming up this Saturday for members and people in six-week challenge. This Saturday coming up week today is the six-week weight loss challenge finale party, international theme party. So make sure you're coming into that. It's going to be crazy. We're at the gym. We're blocked off the entire parking lot. It's going to be a crazy summer international party. You're going to be bringing in your any ethnic foods from your country, adults or whatever, beverages of your choice from your country. It's be a crazy party. And I'm actually going to announce that I'm going to announce that probably tomorrow. That has to do with the 28-day challenge coming up. That's the day before the 28-day challenge begins. That's on Saturday, Sunday the 18th. And then the challenge, the 28-day challenge begins Monday the 19th. Links are down there for the challenges you want to join. Members, you're in the members-only VIP group if you want to join in there. A, a bunch of members have already joined because they want in on that shit. Not only is it prizes, that's not the prize. That, that, the prize you're going to get, that, that photo shoot and all that other bullshit, that's just the additional prize you're going to get. The real prize is a little more focused a little more determination, a little friendly competition with the rest of your peak freaks. That's, that's the real freaking prize. Someone told me last video to stand still. I don't know if I know how to stand still. I don't stand still. So I'm going to rock back and forth. That's what I'm going to do. Because we're about to kill the rest of this workout. We're going to go sixes, fives, fours, threes, twos, ones. We're going to go dumbbell group first, boso grow group second, and medicine ball group third. So you should do that on your own also. But we're going to log off now because it's already been over 30 minutes. And I don't think people can handle much more than that of me. So we're going, boy. Go say, you want to say something to the people? No excuses. That's it. That's the only intensity you have after this workout. You're out of energy. I better see a little more enthusiasm than that, boy. No excuses. I can't imagine why all these neighbors in the neighboring caves hate us around here. All the people in the other caves, all the cavemen around here, they hate us. I can't figure out why. But. You don't like us? F, F it. I don't really care. What are you laughing at, boy? <laughs> All right. We'll see you later. We're about to finish off this workout. Sixes to ones. Do it yourself. If you have any questions, put it in there. See you later.